Awards season brings out the stars in the biggest way. And for the past couple of months on TMS, we've been analyzing and anointing our faves from the Golden Globes, the Emmys, the SAGs, the Grammys, and now the Oscars. It is time to crown our top style stars who consistently hit the red carpet mark during the 2024 awards season. Joining us are style experts Susie Wall and Natalie Sexton, beauty expert Tracy P, who is just back from the Oscars, and TMS <laughs> entertainment reporter Morgan Hoffman. <laughs> so glad you guys could join us. Yay. Thanks for having us. Okay, Natalie, <laughs> yes. we are going to start with you, okay. and I want to know who do you think can consistently impressed us this award season. I mean, this was so hard to choose someone, <laughs> right? Oh my Lord. So I went with Brie Larson. Ooh. Okay, and the reason that I chose her is because I felt like she surprised us every time. Like when you look at all three looks here, there is no formula. She was willing to go like really feminine, really sexy, really edgy. I am obsessed with the Versace two-piece blush gown that she's got on in the middle here that she wore to the sags like i'm i mean i'm always here for a crop top moment especially <laughs> when it's done right on a red carpet i thought she nailed it and then there's a little backstory to this look though so a few hours after the sags claudia schiffer took to her instagram and posted a photo of her in a custom versace that she wore like almost identical to that for a 1994 cover of Vogue. So here it is right here. Oh, wow. Right. Oh, that was the inspiration? Yes, isn't that cool? That's really I, well I done. Really yeah. Just that out very recently, I was like, oh, I have to share that. I love a little tidbit. So do you know, I. The backstory. Very neat. That's they very both neat. killed it. And I love just how that translates, you know, yeah. this many years later. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. That, that dress that outfit for Brie I think was spectacular absolutely yeah, beautiful all right yeah. Susie you're also one of our style experts who made your best dress list this season okay for me it was definitely Carrie Mulligan from beginning to end no tricks no gimmicks British Vogue said she'd been hiding in plain sight you know on the far <laughs> left we've got her in that famed uh, replica of the lobster Scaparelli from 1949. I love her at the SAGs in Privé, you know, a departure from black in that kind of drippy liquid metal. The draping was perfection for me and it was fresh. And the next critic's choice, the slick Bob Tracy P. I'm sure you're with me on this, that blurred red lip, the cheek flush. I love yes. this high drama silhouette on her, very much a power look. And then last night, oh my goodness, the Oscars. Mm. <laughs> Velvety Black Mermaid, Sweetheart Neckline, the scalloped hem, that kind of burst of cream tulle at the bottom. This was an exact replica of a 1951 Balenciaga. We saw a lot of replicas this award season, but for me, Carrie just brought it every time. She wasn't super theatrical. There were, like I said, no gimmicks. She was just right down the middle every time with stunning us in this kind of old Hollywood way, but with a modern fresh spin. All right, Morgan. I love that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. I'm still, I'm still under that Carrie Mulligan look at the Oscars. Uh, that was just mind blowing. Oh, okay, right. My so choice. <laughs> uh, you know, for me, I think when you wear uh, daring suits. You know, because it's not always easy comparing suits to all the beautiful dresses out there. But Coleman Domingo, for me, has really dominated award season. He just brought his A game every mm -hmm. time. And I remember at the beginning of award season being like, Good. whoa, this is actually really amazing. So for me, that pink and black suit, that's custom off-white. That was so gorgeous for me at the SAG Awards. I just remember being like, I think that actually might be my favorite choice of the night totally. uh, compared to even all the gorgeous dresses out there. Love that mustard yellow look, um, you know, with that baby blue shirt underneath. And then, of course, at the Oscars, you have custom Louis Vuitton. And I don't know if you guys can tell with those. It looks like really cool cowboy boots. And then he's got the tie. I mean, everything about it was very uh, his personality, taking risks. Uh, but I thought he nailed it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yep. I think the men have been nailing it all season yes. long. All right, Tracy, right. you are up next. Who has been consistently killing it this award season? Okay, I went with Selena Gomez. Ooh. Okay, and it's not because each and every dress was the best dress that mm -hmm. I've seen for the night, but I like that she took 
chances, okay? So not every single silhouette was the same. So you see that Giorgio Armani uh, dress that she wore to the Golden Globes. At first when I thought I saw it, I was like, oh, it's a little prom. Like I, initially I was like a little prom. But then the more I looked at it, I was like, I like the detailing down the front. I like the asymmetrical um, um, hemline. I like that she's there to play. And I find that a lot of celebrities, once they find what silhouette works for them, they do it over and over, rinse, yes. repeat, rinse, repeat. Totally. And just a, uh, the same version, like of the right. same dress, uh, just a different color. So I thought that she was very, uh, she was um, playful and willing to uh, try something new. And then the next silhouette for the Emmys when she went with uh, the Oscar de la Renta oh. dress. Mm. Oh. I love the dark, like the ox blood color, the burgundy. And I love that she went with that on her lips. Yes. With yeah. the award season, no one ever plays with makeup. I'm like so bored watching it <laughs> as a makeup <laughs> artist thinking I'm waiting for somebody yeah. to play with their makeup, someone to do a pop of color in their eye or something bold on their lip. And I get why they do it safe because sure. it's a pretty elegant event, but there is a way to do a pop of color and do it elegantly. Yeah. And I thought she did it there. So when I first saw it, I was like, oh, she did a dark lip, look at that. And she still looked beautiful. It didn't stunning. look like gothic. Mm -hmm. It was beautiful and stunning. And then in the last dress, she's wearing on like a nice white sequin silhouette. They just all looked very different. Same, similar to what you were saying about Brie, Brie. just different silhouettes yeah. and not going with the same thing. Surprise. And she had us. surprise us and have fun, yes. and she played with her makeup. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. I like Play it. with your makeup. It, it washes off, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My pick for someone who has brought it consistently over award season is this gal right here. Emily Blunt knows oh, yeah. how to show up at the awards. <laughs> she consistently rocked it uh. at the red carpet, and I'm not usually a big red fan, but these red dresses on Emily were to die for. Now, even though she's my most consistent person, last night, okay, I'm putting this I agree. To, no, I'm I agree putting this with you. <laughs> Let's pull up Emily from the Oscars, and I am not sure how I feel about the Oscar dress. Ladies, help I, me out. I it was I, we have the I straps like that no. were mm, I wasn't. elevated. The floating straps. The floating I didn't straps. like it. Straps, I wasn't. Very Jetsons. I don't know. That's I, what I, I mind me of Judy Jetson. It. Yeah, it's so true. So. It's a look, right? It was done on purpose. It's 100%. very specific. I just thought a lot was going on from the print on the dress, to even the necklace. I was like. That's, that's a lot going on. And then the yeah. the outline at the crotch line is she very can't get over this. Yes. I'm just like, what is happening she there? Needed, like Princess Leia buns yeah. for that dress or something. Like it looked very costume like, to me. She's Not so in a great girl. way. She's so elegant. She's so beautiful, but I <laughs> oh, love it. Yeah. Susie. Oh, oh, go, Susie. It was epic. I love oh. it. I love that flesh <laughs> cake, the exoskeleton. I love that it annoyed everybody. They wanted to push her shoulder straps down. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was yeah. new. It was something different. So I'm I'm giving her a 12 out of 10. That inverted. Oh my God, I love Susie. Hot, right? Like, oh. I'm standing by it. That fish is amazing. The train, all of it. Yes, 10 That's out great. of 10. I am. I am so glad we brought this picture out just for Susie to get so excited. Yes. <laughs> She's ready to fight, and I'm here for it. Okay. All right, so those were our most consistent looks all season. Now for the overall standout one look, this is one tough. person. Very tough. It is. It is. Uh, Natalie, you started all off, Ooh. so give us your overall look this award season. This was not easy to do, but <laughs> I mean, this look just kept, you know, coming back to mind, back to mind. So I chose Jessica Chastain oh, at the oh, Emmys wow. in this it's custom Versace. Like, I love the 70s. The 70s style decade is my spirit animal in fashion decades, and I thought this really emulated, like, 70s glamour. It had everything, like sequins, fringe, that bold color. She wore emeralds and diamonds, but it all made sense. Like, it wasn't overwhelming in yeah. any way. I loved her hair and makeup as oh, well. Oh, the hair Crazy, swept to the right? side. Beautiful. That swept to the side look. And the only thing that I would say, and tell me how you feel about this, I thought she could have done, the, like, a red lip or, yes. like, a Bordeaux lip mm -hmm. or something, and that would have just taken it like they probably step. didn't want to compete with the color of the dress, but I agree but with I love you. that. Bump it up just yeah, a little like bit. Yeah, juxtaposition <laughs> of the dark yeah, lip yeah. in the book. But otherwise, she was my pick. Okay. Cool. Yes. That's a good one. That was a standout <laughs> for sure. Susie, your pick.
care. It's like picking children. Like, how do you? <laughs> it was so difficult. Everybody looked so amazing on this award so show run this season. So I chose a look that wasn't specific to a red carpet that everybody was talking about, but it's mm -hmm. what it symbolizes, the great Lily Gladstone. Let's go to it. This Aww. was actually at the Santa Barbara Film Festival. I just love how this Ooh. is Jaunty Calm. Oh, everybody wow. from Jamie Okuma to Carrie Atumbi, you know, she this Jaunte look is a Plains Cree designer. Uh, this is called the Duck Feather Migration wow. Top. And Lily herself said she wants to show ongoing proof that indigenous design belongs on red carpets alongside luxury fashion at the Oscars. We saw her in that amazing Gucci uh, uh, collab with Big Joe Mountain or Joe Big Mountain, I should say. And, and there was quill work, there was embroidery, but that look in particular, it was just a pair of Gabriella Hearst trousers with this epic top. It symbolizes the way she brought indigenous design to the red carpet. And I think that is incredibly mm -hmm. important, not just for 2024, but from a costume historical perspective. So Lily for me all day long in every look this season. Good pick. Nice. Good pick. Yep. All right, Morgan. Okay. <laughs> Who is your overall pick? Let me tell you, I picked somebody until I saw Zendaya at the Oscars on the red carpet Ooh. last night. She was towards the end of the red carpet. And I was like, no, I have my look. And then I saw Zendaya. La Roach, <laughs> her stylist, did it again. For me, this was a very unique style. I wasn't seeing everybody running around with a vintage palm tree print on their dress. Uh, you have it over the one shoulder, that silk, rose gold, gorgeous gown. And then with that exposed bodice, uh, the soft waves, I mean, and then she walked out on stage as a presenter all on her own. And I just thought, like, this is one of the most stunning women I've ever seen mm -hmm. in my whole life. There's such a presence to her. So for someone who, if you've been following the Dune Part 2 mm -hmm. press tour where oh. she was killing it with every look, this happened to stand out for me, even after all those looks, right. too. So I loved it. Yep. Okay. Nice. Perfect. Tracy. Okay, so I went with Hannah um, Hemming. What? Hem Wadding him. Waddingham. Oh, That's Waddingham. it. Waddingham. My best friend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah Waddingham. <laughs> uh, at her at the, at, at the Emmys, when I saw this look, yeah, I instantly went, oh, I literally was like, oh, I love yes. that dress. The halter top. I love the ruffle train. Like that mint green and how it's kind of ombre. You see how like it, it kind of slowly changes as it, as it, it fades off into um, the train. Yeah. I love the color. I love the the embellished embroidery that that's going on in the dress and then she just lifted the hair and she did a nice curly updo and I'm hip, I'm doing a little bit of a hypocrite now but she kept the makeup soft <laughs> and I thought <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I thought it worked for this one though. I think if she had have done like a bold lip or anything like that, I think it would have competed yeah. with the dress. That dress was just stunning. It was. Beautiful. As it was. soon as I, I gasped when I saw it. Oh, yeah. Hannah yeah. knows how to dress her body. You I know? Was, yes. I was gonna she agree with her yes. curves and she knows she what works and she right. looks Stunning every time she steps out. She always looks very statuesque. That's like the she, word, you know, statuesque. She does. She always does. Yeah. Okay. My overall <laughs> look of the season goes to Let's throw go. it up. Let's go. Cheryl Lee Ralph oh, from oh, the yeah. Golden Great look. Oh, yay. Globes. Oh my gosh. Hello. Yes. Hello. Look at her. Stunning. Look at her. And I need to throw it to you, Tracy, because her makeup yeah. is Phenom well, I brought it up. Yeah. I, we talked about it in a segment that I did yes. last week. So, like, she yes. did, she winged out the eyeliner. Yeah. Yeah. It's very, it's very. Uh, she has a sharp wing eyeliner, which I like because a lot of people mm. don't do that. Yeah. They right. keep everything very soft, and she winged it out very nice and sharp, and I loved it. Yes, and loved her brows. It. Her brows, everything. Her makeup was impeccable, and yeah. it always is. It always, always is. is. As is her fashion. Her daughter is her stylist, which is so oh, neat that, that she so dresses cute. her mom. Yeah, it's great. And and she and she's amazing at it. She looks phenomenal all the time. Uh, oh, one more. <laughs> okay, honorable mention. <laughs> oh, honorable mention. And I want to oh. hear what you guys think. Okay, go. Right. Dave Vine, Joy Rudolph. Which one? Oh, oh, oh last the night. Oscars. Yes, yeah. the Oscars. I, I, this may be divisive. I'm not. I'm not sure if this is how you all feel about. Uh, Dave Vine, what do you guys think? 
I would have liked a little bit more of a silhouette to show her shape. Okay. For me, it was a little almost like a like a like a drape put on top of her. Okay. I get what they were going for, old right. Hollywood. I yes. understand that, so that's not going over in my head. But I would have liked, to, especially with a curvy body, I like when we show our bodies. Mm -hmm. So I would have liked to see more of her silhouette. Right. Anyone else? I mean, the for Tracy on this one. I was I was liking that we didn't have too much cleavage, which I was finding distracting in previous shows. The one thing that I want to tell her and her stylist is relax those shoulders. Just oh. bring them down a little bit. And let's give mm. us that power move. Powerful woman. You know, she was so such a rousing speech at the Oscars. She is a fan favorite. I just want her to relax into her power. Okay, I'm relaxing right, right? now. Everybody? Uh, oh, yeah. oh, right? right everybody, everybody changed up their posture. <laughs> Great sound advice, dude. Great sound advice. We want to know who your favorite was in the comments below. And don't forget to su subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. Hey, that wraps the season. Yeah. Woo.